Hey, in this video we're looking at uh, Windows Editions and Upgrade Paths for Windows 7. Here we're looking at a lesson overview. We're going to be identifying Windows Editions, Operating System Requirements, and Upgrade Paths in this video. Here's some questions I want you to think about while you're watching the video. Which Windows 7 Edition does not include Windows Media Center? Does Windows 7 Home Premium Edition have the ability to connect to a business network or domain? And what tool can be used to investigate your current computer to identify issues that may arise if you upgrade to Windows 7? Here we're looking at Windows 7 editions. We have Starter, Home Premium, Professional, Ultimate, and Enterprise. Each one of these versions include the previous version's capabilities. So Home Premium includes the capabilities of Starter. Ultimate includes abilities of professional, home premium, and starter, plus the ultimate uh, capabilities. This link, uh, you can go there and you can view the different editions capabilities. On this slide, we're looking at some of the business requirements like XP mode, domain join, backup to home or business, and language of choice. And uh, you can find these are found in professional or higher versions, including ultimate and enterprise. Here's the operating system requirements for Windows 7. Uh, any test for Microsoft wants to know this. So 1 gigahertz or faster, 32-bit or 64-bit processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM for 32-bit, 2 gigabyte of RAM for 64-bit, and 16 gig available hard space for 32-bit, and 20 gig available hard drive space for 64-bit. All right, here we're looking at identifying operating system requirements. So if you want to have Windows Media Center functionality, for instance, you need a TV tuner card built into your system. Also, some games and programs might require a graphics card that's compatible with DirectX 10. Windows XP mode requires an additional 1 gig of RAM and an additional 15 gig of hard drive space in order to support XP mode. Looking at operating system requirements. Uh, so commercial servers, workstations, other high-end PCs may have more than one physical processor. Windows 7 Pro, Enterprise, and Ultimate supports two physical processors, while the other versions only support one physical processor. Here we're looking at upgrade paths. A computer can be successfully upgraded to Windows 7 from Windows XP, but it does not support in place, meaning you have to move all your files and, and reinstall all your applications. Windows Vista supports in place, and Microsoft supports has several tools to help you support with the upgrade process. Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor, and you also have the Windows Easy Transfer, which transfers your files, email, pictures, and settings to your new PC. Looking at an upgrade path from Windows XP to Windows 7, you need to have an external drive or a network drive to transfer your files using the Windows Easy Transfer uh, wizard. You also need an original setup disk of the applications to reinstall on top of Windows 7 once you've moved from XP to Windows 7. Here's the upgrade path. Verify that your programs and devices will work with Windows 7 using the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor, which can assist you with any problems. Here we see a screenshot of the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor, which is saying that we need to have at least 1 gig of RAM and also 20 gig of available hard drive space is required. Plus, it's already checked other things to find out that they're compatible. So step one was to run the Windows Upgrade Advisor. Step two is to use the Windows Easy Transfer. The Windows Easy Transfer uh, wizard will help you transfer all your files, settings, emails from your current PC to your new PC. And you can run this on XP to bring all your settings and files over automatically. As you're continuing on your upgrade path from Windows XP to Windows 7, uh, the next step is you have to make a choice. Are you going to do an upgrade or a custom? Well, with XP, there's no upgrade option. You have to do a clean install. If you're installing Vista, you can do an upgrade. Then you're going to be moving your files and settings from back to your computer using the Windows Easy Transfer Wizard. And then you're going to have to reinstall all your programs and device drivers. So here's the upgrade path from Vista to Windows 7. You want to determine what version you have that you want to move to Windows 7 from. So if you have Vista Basic, you can only upgrade to Windows 7 Home Premium. Uh, if you have Windows Vista Ultimate, you can upgrade to any other versions of Windows 7. So continuing the path, we can install Windows 7 using either of two options, the upgrade 
with Vista, which means you keep all your files, settings, and programs in place on Vista. Or you can do a clean install, which means you have to transfer all your files, settings, and programs back onto the system because they've been erased. So in this lesson, we looked at Windows Essentials, Upgrade Paths, and Tools. Here's the questions again. What tool can be used to transfer files prior to upgrading to Windows 7? What version of Windows 7 can you upgrade to from Windows Vista Business? And what is the memory requirement for the 64-bit version of Windows 7? If you could discuss these questions in your Google Hangout and post your answers in your one-page summary.